hopping back on Francis and we're gonna get these transport wheels ready to go on the community built truck. So I'm gonna walk you through the whole process. So I have a lot of different videos on transport wheels, how to paint them, how to install the cap clips, how to bore them. Let's combine all that together into one video. So if you've never watched a transport wheel video, this is gonna show you every step that you have to take to make these fit your truck, to fit cap clips, and also to paint them up and to make them look awesome. So stay tuned, let's check it out. Since I've made videos on how to bore your wheels, how to install the simple clips onto there, I'm not gonna go into super deep detail about how to do those things, but I will kind of give you a overall idea. And if that's something you wanna do, the link to the full video is gonna be in the description. All you have to do is click the title of the video and click on the link to watch the full video. So first off, let's start with what is a transport wheel? So a transport wheel or a transit wheel came from the name of transporting a Chevrolet truck or SUV from one side of America to the other side. So they will install these 22 inch transport wheels to transport a vehicle somewhere else to a dealership or something like that. When they arrive at the dealership, they'll take these wheels off and replace them with chrome wheels, alloy, something like that but then the dealership has to do something with them. There's a core charge, some dealerships sell them. I don't know, they end up on Facebook Marketplace or somebody's got them for sale on Instagram, but I find these usually on eBay or on Facebook Marketplace, a local dealer, so I don't have to pay shipping, but that's where you get them from. You're not gonna find these on a website or anything for sale because that's not what they're made for. If you're wanting to actually buy some for a company, go through Koi Wheel or Detroit Steel Wheel. One of those companies have a full steel wheel that's a smoothie that you can buy. The other question I get a lot is do these mount up directly to my C10 and the answer is no. Usually on a C10 they come with drum brakes all around. The middle hub of these are too large to fit them directly on. If you have disc brakes in the front of your truck then these wheels will bolt directly on. But then you have to either run a spacer in the back or use my simple bore kit. In my simple bore kit, you're gonna get a hole saw and you're gonna get one of these brackets. So whenever you get this bolted in, it centers it up and then you're just gonna take this and it drills out the center just a little bit and that's how it works. All right, now we're ready for the simple clips kit. And this is what comes in the kit. You get all the clips. This is to install hubcaps onto your transport wheel. So I want to go ahead and drill and tap all the holes before I paint it. That way I don't have to deal with all the metal shavings and all the other stuff that may mess up the paint. Get a sticker. In the kit, you're going to get 20 of the clips, washers, and the bolts. You're gonna get a drill bit and a tap, and then you're gonna get this simple clips guide. We're about to cut this out. You're gonna cut around the lines here, and we're gonna lay it into the transport wheel, and we're gonna mark where all the arrows are, and that's where we drill our holes. It's that simple. Drill your holes, tap the holes, install the clips with the bolts and the washers, and you are done. You can pop the hubcap right on there. No adjustment needed. Let's go ahead and cut this out. Here we go. All we're gonna do is slightly fold on these fold marks. That way it'll contour the wheel correctly. We're gonna lay it in there and we'll make our marks. You're just gonna push down on the folded spots till it aligns kind of with this contour all the way around. And then right where those arrows touch the wheel, that's right where you're gonna make the mark. So that's where our marks are. We're gonna come through and we're gonna drill those holes. Then we're gonna tap them. 
then we'll pop our hubcap on there. Okay, once you get your holes drilled, what we're gonna do is come in with the actual tap. We're gonna tap these holes, and you'll see the motion that I'm making with my wrist. You'll twist it until it kind of gets tight, and then you'll go left to loosen it, and that actually clears out the hole that you're tapping. So you'll continue to go right until it gets tight, go left, right, left, until you feel it freely screwing in, and then you know you have the hole tapped correctly. Just a reminder, you can see the full video to the Simple Clips kit on the link in the description. So just click the title to this video, scroll down, you're gonna see some links to the parts, and you'll also see a link to the video. So here's some of the products that I use to paint these wheels. You can see some plastic, I've got some 2K Clear, the perfect color white, Goo Gone products, tape, green scuff pads, tack cloths, a deck of cards, some razor blades. All these items are gonna be listed in the description. So if you're wondering what to purchase, just click the title to the video and it will have everything that you need listed there. Now that we got it tacked off, I get a lot of questions about how do you tape off the white wall? And what I do, I usually just use some of this small tape like this. You can also use the green tape that's a little bit more flexible that's actually made for auto body work. I've had good luck with this. We're gonna tape off the white wall that's right here. A Couple different ways to do that is these wheels, whenever they drop down, there's two little indentions right here that you can go by. Some people like to go on the top indention and have a skinny white wall, which looks good. The second little line here on the bottom is usually what I'll go by. And I'll go all the way around and just try to get it as close as possible. Try to get the line as close as you can to straight. Don't spend a ton of time on it because once you get everything painted, it's hard to see if the line is off just a little bit. All right, we got a couple new things that we're gonna try on these wheels. 
O'Reilly will custom match some aerosol spray paint to whatever color that you need. This is the color that's from the inner fenders on Francis. And then I also am going to try some of this 2K Clear. They also offer this at O'Reilly's, but sometimes you got to ask for it. Could be in the back. I ordered this from Amazon. There's going to be a link in the description. Hey, we got the wheels taped up. We're ready to paint them. So let's shake this up and let's get the painting. Here's another new product that I've never used before. It's the Spray Max 2K Clear. I've read really good stuff about this. This is a one-time use spray can because it comes with a hardener in it. So when you press this button, it activates inside the can and you're able to lay down a automotive grade clear through an aerosol can. So here's what we're gonna do to use this. We're gonna shake the can for two minutes and then we're going to take off the top red cap and push the button on the bottom with it. And we're going to shake it for two more minutes. And then we are going to spray it at least 10 inches away from the surface. Mm -hmm. 